The Oblivion scaling system is often an unforgiving mistress when it comes to finding artifacts early, and sometimes the gap between levels can be so large that you'll wish you had never found the item at all. Fortunately for us, there are a few key items spread across the rolling hills of Cyrodiil that will put the power back into your hands regardless of the level you find them. So settle in for an adventure to the Imperial City, a feud between warring merchants, and an item that will set you up for the ultimate and early game success. To begin our search for the legendary non-leveled loot that is oh so rare in Oblivion, we first begin on the busy streets of the Imperial City's Market District. I mean, just look at this. Commerce flowing through the streets, gold exchanging hands. There's really no one out today for some reason except those two, but I, I don't know. Maybe everybody's already out of town for the holidays. But that is beside the point because today we must begin by first sniffing out the ill scent of competition brewing here among the shop owners. And to do that, we must speak to Tertullian Varus at Three Brothers Trade Goods, Claudette Peric at the Gilded Craft, or Ogier Jorek at the Main Ingredient, all of which are located here within the Market District. So I'm going to make my way right over here to the Three Brothers Trade Goods, and we will begin our investigation. Here he is, Tertullian Varus, looking like an off-brand emo hipster with that haircut. Let's see what we got going on. Having a bit of trouble with another merchant in town who goes by the name of Thorinir. Oh, that name sounds familiar, I'm sure, to a lot of Oblivion players. Let's see where this goes. He is dirty. Plain and simple. Go speak with Jensine at her good-as-new merchandise store. She can clue you in and maybe offer some coin. So there we have it. A little, a little scent of uh, skullduggery in the air. A bit of backstabbing from the local Bosmer going by the name of Thorinir. And to learn more, we simply need to come over to Jinsin's Good as New Merchandise, dive inside, and then see what else this Bosmer has been cooking up. I'm sure it's nothing good, because, in case you didn't know, they like to eat people. Well, not just Imperials, everyone. They like to eat everybody. Strange culture. <laughs> Everything was fine until Thorinir opened his oh. shop nearby. Bosmer. Selling all sorts of there goes the neighborhood. He undercuts <laughs> prices like you wouldn't believe. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. The job pays a fair bounty in gold when he is brought to justice. There's that word again. We love gold. So now the story has begun to unravel before us. Jinsin and the local town are getting run out by this undercutting Bosmer who's just shown up and refuses to play games and unionize like the rest of them. So to find this heartless scalawag, we must head to the copious coin purse, which is right on the main drag here in the market district. And all we have to do is step inside and see this rap scallion for ourselves. So, Thorinir, tell us. What kind of deal can I make for you today? Where do you get that inventory sourced from the Argonian slave labor of Morrowind, huh? Huh? Well. That would be a trade secret. I can't divulge how I pass the great savings on to you now, can I? Amazon Just does. Like a baker not revealing his best recipes. That's all I'm saying. I must keep my sources anonymous. Suffice hmm. to say, they are quite reliable and low cost. That way, you walk out with a full coin purse. Well, after talking to him, it seems he is as tight-lipped as he as shrewd with his money. So now we have to investigate him another way. Let's sit here and wait around until about the hour of midnight. And once it has become dark enough, let's sneak our way over to the garden behind his establishment. Now, let's uh, escort ourselves over here. Do a little shroom and distract us uh, for the time being, and let's wait and see what happens. Oh, there he is. Okay, now we must sneak closer. What kind of clandestine meeting is this? Not so loud. How many times have I told you that? The next shipment will be sooner than I expected. Just have the money. Oh, see, told you. It was a supply chain thing. I mean, I have enough. got the sweatshops up in Marwin, just churning out goods. Thorinir is the father of capitalism in Cyrodiil. He just doesn't know it yet. 
visit to that Gen C and tell her about your little... Oh! Blackmail. Fine. You made your point. I've observed a meeting between Thorinir and a mysterious man named Argamir. Looks like my new target is Argamir. I should follow him and see where he goes. All right. So once again, the antithesis of sneaking this heavily armored Nord goes on an investigatory splinter cell mission to find out what crimes lay beneath the heavily cobbled streets of the Imperial City. What could go wrong? <laughs> hey. hey, oh God, what? He's onto us. <laughs> Good thing NPCs are as dumb as a sack of bricks. So, we will just, uh, you know, let's just make our way silently here. I'm imagining our armor just, like, clanging <laughs> behind them as we walk. It's always funny to extract yourself slightly from the game and think about it, you know, what this would be like in real life. So now we know Thorinir is in deep with some very bad people, or at least one very bad person, but now our level one self has tagged behind him into the Talos Plaza district and soon he will be entering his home. And there it is. The den of debauchery. I've discovered that Argamir has a house in Talos Plaza. I should go inside when he's not around and investigate. All right, let's post up somewhere he won't expect. Okay. Become one with the trees. And the grass. Gotta take the armor off to be sneaky, right? There we go. Alright, nothing to see here, people. Just a naked Nord in the bushes. What, have you never played Morrowind? Got half half the Nords are naked. <laughs> this is just expressing his true culture. So, let's wait here and hopefully Argamir uh, doesn't uh, find our little display too, too entertaining. So, I'll move us forward about 10 hours to midday. Here we are. Our calves. Noticeably sorer. <laughs> um, let's wait for the guard. Oh, nothing to see here, sir. Nothing at all. Top of the morning to you. We're looking for legendary items, believe it or not. Not stealing them. Well, sort of stealing them, but we'll, we'll get there in a second. All right. So now that we're alone, let's pop into Argamir's house here. Well, once you're inside Argamir's house, we can immediately make a beeline to the back and head into Argamir's basement. Again, facing the most treacherous of enemies in Oblivion, the average lock. I hate, I have never felt comfortable lockpicking in Oblivion. It's it's the strangest thing to me. I don't, I don't get it. It's part rhythm game. It's part muscle memory. I just, I just never got it. But here we go again. Auto attempt out of it. <laughs> All right, now that we've made it into the blackmailer's basement, we must continue making our way down into the depths. And just around the corner, you will see quite the scene here. I found my way into Argamir's basement. The place consists of an odd assortment of clothing and trinkets. Most disturbing is the dirty shovel and mud, encrusted boots tucked into the corner and the bits of ground bone meal strewn about. I suspect Argamir's stock he sells to Thorinir is taken from the recently dead. So there you have it, the source of the blackmail. They've been stealing from the local graves to undercut the other merchants. Truly dastardly men. I mean, look at this. Blood everywhere. But once we've uncovered the truth of Thorinir's grisly supply chain, let's make our way over to the table and open the macabre manifest. I have found a manifest that seems to detail names of the recently deceased, what they were buried with, and their locations in Cyrodiil. I should take this macabre manifest and confront Thorinir, as he may not realize where his merchandise is coming from. All right, Thorinir, you sidewinder. What do you have to say about these apples? Welcome back. Oh, you won't be thinking I'm welcome for long. Did you know your items were taken from the dead? I can't believe what I'm seeing in this book. To think these things here were once on the bodies of the recently deceased. Tragic. It's just Terrifying. too horrible to comprehend. I guess an apology is not enough. What can I do? Thornier, there is only one thing you can do. Will your entire shop and all of its profits to me. And I will ensure that this horrible practice does not continue and I make obscene amounts of money. <laughs> or... Or you can help me catch Argamir. I guess I should do that. That's the ethically right choice. Yes, that's the least I can do. You don't think he would dig up another... Oh, no, he wouldn't. 
Well, I guess he has been. let's but not go too mind. far, Thornier. What have I done? In the meantime, I'll decide what to do with all these ill-gotten things. I'm so sorry. I guarantee what he's going to decide to do with his ill-gotten things is keep know. selling them. It seems to be working out so far, but that's beside the point. <laughs> So now off we go to the Palace District to stop Argamir's Raiders of the Lost Ark cosplaying in its tracks for good. And to do that, we must find the mausoleum of the Trentius family and stop Argamir for good. Now, one thing to note, you should probably save outside before you start this fight as the door does get barred behind you. So if you are not powerful enough to start it, you'll be stuck in a nice little death loop there. So just be sure to keep that in mind. Hit that quick save before diving in. All right, I've located Argamir inside the Trentius family mausoleum, and it is time to stop this heinous act. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> He'll just walk around <laughs> until he triggers the dialogue. Oh, which way? Which way am I going to go? Hey. <laughs> this guy, that guy doesn't even care. That is the worst hired help I've ever seen. That dude should be bashing my face in right now. Hey, buddy. I had hey. A feeling oh, like he that caught me. Sooner or later. <laughs> That's why I had this trap. This time, it wasn't to take something away from the graveyard. It was to add something. I'm having trouble I'm taking you seriously right now, Argamir. But yeah, unmarked grave. grave. We're going in it. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's fight. Oh, come on. Oh, you are a tough beast. Heal, heal, heal. They are unironically pretty tough. Alright, Argamir's dead. Now for the lackey. Alright, I got you. There we go. Success! <laughs> okay. Whew, that was actually pretty tough. I forgot how hard... They were, and it is mainly because of the first awesome piece of loot, although this is not what we came for, but certainly something worth mentioning for the Unfinished Business quest. It is the unique sword from Argamir, which is the debaser here, and we can see that it has drain willpower and drain endurance on strike, part of the reason Argamir was slightly destroying us in that fight. But, again, this is not the point of the video and technically isn't even the end of the unfinished business quest, although you do have to get to this point in the quest to gain access to the mausoleum. So all that stuff you saw before this, completely mandatory. But what we're actually here for is hidden just off to the left of the mausoleum, behind the head of Caliban Trentius. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Caliban's grim retort. And now let's take a look at this incredible item. So we will see that Caliban's Grim Retort has a 2,879 value, even when you find it at level 1. A weight of 31 and a base attack of 18 points, although the attack that you see here of 8 is scaled to my blunt weapon skill and my strength. So this will change dynamically again as, as you level up. Uh, your blunt weapon skill. But the base damage alone is not the only amazing thing about Calibrin's Grim Retort. In fact, the enchantments make it the absolute standout for incredible early game weapons. So you can see here that we have Absorb Blunt, 8 points for 20 seconds on strike, Absorb Strength, 5 points for 20 seconds on strike, and Frost Damage of 10 points on strike. So what Caliban's Grim Retort is going to do with these absorb skills here is actually buff itself the more that you hit an opponent with it and the more that you use it. So absorbing your opponent's blunt weapon skills and strength attributes while at the same time fighting with it is going to increase the damage that you're doing dynamically during the fight, which is just an awesome set of enchantments to have on a weapon. I mean, who wouldn't want a weapon that dynamically gets stronger the longer a fight goes on and also makes your opponent deal less damage at the same time? And on top of that, this weapon is again non-scaled. It does not scale. Caliban's Grim Retort will have the same base damage, the same incredible enchantments, whether you find it like I did right now at level 1 or you find it later on in the game. So if you are playing a warrior of any type, I cannot recommend getting Caliban's Grim Retort enough. It really is just phenomenal. 
Now the loot part of the video does end here, but while the camera's rolling, let's go ahead and turn on our quest and put a nice little bookend on this video. Oh. All right, Thornir, it's time to fess up. I got the shovel. Don't forget to get the shovel out of the tomb if you're doing this quest, because uh, Thornir will want to see it, and I've certainly left it behind enough. So, Thornir, were you able to stop? It's Argonir? over. Then we can at last rest. I feared had he somehow bested you. I'd be next. It, it is for he almost did. <laughs> I've come to some decisions. I intend to donate all of the money I have made, as well as oh, hey. the of these stolen items to the temple. Oh, that's a little weird. You know that I had a long discussion with Jen Seen, and I have decided I, to you, join the society. They were still grave robbed clothes. <laughs> you're just going to give it to the orphans? What? Like <laughs> now, don't be a stranger. The copious coin purse is still in business. All right, all right. I'm You've shown a little confused mercy. about the, you know, gifting the clothes, you know, re-gifting them from the desecrated graves. But uh, let's at least see what our reward from Jinseen is. And hopefully it is worth the moral conundrums we've been put in during this video. So Jinseen, the deed is done. I have been anxiously awaiting your return. This shovel will certainly confirm Agarmere's crimes. Along oh, with yeah. the manifest, it should prove useful to the city watch. I'm glad, because I in did not want to get arrested for murder in those guys. <laughs> spoke at length about his role in this scheme. He told me of his intentions to donate all of the money and inventory to the local temple. That's also still weird. agreed to buy and sell merchandise at fair prices. In return, the society has decided not to press charges. Wow. Now, I'm sure you are waiting to hear about your Dude reward. makes it off scot-free. That's pretty impressive. Thanks you for everything you have done. Please, take this gold. All right. Hey, don't mind if I Many do. Thanks on behalf of all of us. How much gold? 100. That's it. We just murdered a guy, stopped a grave robbing scheme, and all you get here's 100 gold. Go screw off, adventure. You go roll around in the damn tombs and caves and stuff like you have been. Get out of my store. I, <laughs> we get no respect around here. But at least, all this aside, it's been a the quest line, business. unfinished business, is now complete. You now have one of the best level one items in Oblivion to start the game with, and you've got a very intriguing story on top of it all. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.